Amid the fresh tensions along the line of actual control in Arunachal Pradesh, the Indian Air Force is set to conduct its annual air warfare exercise in the eastern sector from tomorrow. The exercise will see the activation of several air bases in the region, including Hashimar Base in West Bengal, that fields the second squadron of Rafale fighter jets. It will be a command-level exercise planned by the Eastern Air Command to validate its operational capabilities in the Eastern sector, and will see the participation of frontline fighter jets along with transport aircraft helicopters and unmanned aerial vehicles. Just one day ahead of India's planned test of K-5 submarine-launched ballistic missile, the Chinese spy vessel Yuan Wang-5 which had entered the Indian Ocean region a few days back has now moved out of the region. The Indian Navy is constantly monitoring the vessel using MQ-9B long-range surveillance drones and P-8 maritime patrol aircraft. Bangalore-based firm Nopo Nanotechnologies has secured grants from the Indian Navy, as the Navy is looking to incorporate carbon nanotubes into new radar-absorbing coatings for naval vessels. Nopo Nanotechnologies produces single-walled carbon nanotubes, which is 10,000 times thinner than a single strand of human hair, and has a tensile strength that is over 100 times that of steel. The Navy can utilize the nanomaterials as radar-absorbing materials in coating warship structures for camouflaged and stealth applications, as it efficiently absorbs and dissipates incoming radar signals. The Indian Navy has started initial discussion with the DRDO, for the development of a special mission pontoon-like pod for its P-8I fleet, that can be used for moving target indicators, that can scan both water and land areas simultaneously. The US has already developed a pod-based AESA radar system for their fleet, but have put restrictions on its export to its current operators, as it has some kind of secrecy around the technology that they want to protect. The Ministry of Defence has released a request for proposal for the procurement of 5,000 units of 9 by 19 machine pistols under by Indian category, that must have at least 60% indigenous content, and must be able to fire in service 9 by 19 mm ammunition. It must not weigh 2.5 kg without magazine, with rate of fire of 600 rounds per minute, and an effective range not less than 100 meters. The Ministry of Defence has released a request for proposal for procuring 10 improved low-level lightweight radars for the Indian Army under by Indian category, and this 3D active electronically scanned array agile multiple beam radar system will be used for scanning the airspace, and detect track and prioritize very low radar cross-section targets based on threat, and designate them to multiple command posts through wired or wireless communication medium. The Kalyani Rafale Advanced Systems Private Limited has announced that it has rolled out the 100th MR SAM missile kit for delivery to the Indian Armed Forces. The MR SAM missiles are fired vertically from the canister launchers that provide 360 degree coverage and is designed to intercept enemy aircraft missiles, helicopters, and drones at a range of more than 70 kilometers. Lockheed Martin has said that it is offering unmatched weapon integration capabilities to India with the F-21, that could clear the path for integration of all Indian-made weapon systems on the aircraft, without any restrictions from the Lockheed Martin. Lockheed Martin is shifting its focus on India, as the production of 114 F-21 fighters with Tato Advanced Systems under MRFA tender could extend the lifeline of the legacy jet by another 40 years. Spanish media has reported that Airbus will deliver the first C-295 to Indian Air Force in October 2023, 
and deliveries will pick up from 2024 onwards, and 16 Airbus Spain manufactured units will be delivered by 2025, while the Tartu Airbus facility will start assembly of C-295 from 2026 onwards. Oh, my God.